There's something very important I want to talk about. Get a pen and a jaffa. Almost everybody will tell you that you should get solar panels and get inverter batteries and install inverters in your house to avoid the stress of PHCN and all these other parts presented to you. The part they don't tell you is how putting together a solar panel and inverter system that's actually going to be able to stand on its own run you several millions, five to ten million, depending on the size of your building, right? That is one. The part they also don't tell you is the fact that once it's rainy season like this and there's clouds every day and there's no sun to actually recharge the batteries using the solar panels, you get zero electricity. So after watching this video, I decided to make some analysis for everybody to understand what we are trying to talk about here. First, you have to understand that most solar energy installation done in Nigeria and based on budget, yes, what the customer can afford, but not what the customer actually needs for his daily power uh, needs or however I put the English. Uh, secondly, you have to understand that most of the installation we do here, we don't factor in days of autonomy because if we are going to factor in days of autonomy, it's going to be highly expensive. So 10 million Naira cannot take you off grid with solar energy system, though it depends on what you'll be uh, using the, uh, the size of the system for. But let me give you some examples so that you will understand what I'm trying to talk about. When we talk about days of autonomy, we are talking about days that is, uh, there's going to be rainfall, days that the, the, the environment will be cloudy and your solar panels will not generate energy. Now, this is how most we installers do our installation in Nigeria because we work, at times we have to work with the customer's budget, yes. We have to bring things down in order for them to afford it. And we usually tell them you have 24 hours light. Now, this is what we mean by that 24 hours light. We factor in six to eight hours of sunlight. That six to eight hours of sunlight, your appliances will be depending on the solar panels. Then we factor in another 16 hours. That is where you will depend on your battery bank. So if you calculate that, that's 24 hours. So what of the day that, you know, sun refused to come out, your battery refused to charge, and you are now consuming the little that is coming from your solar panel, that means your battery will not you know, sustain you during the night hours. So it will actually give you 24 hours because we factor in six hours to eight hours of sunlight, 16 hours of backup from your battery bank. Now the proper way to install a solar energy system, which is highly expensive, which most people cannot actually go off grid, is to factor in three to seven days of autonomy. Yes. Assuming you are consuming 1000 watts per hour, right? And you want to factor in three days of autonomy. That means Three days where there will be no sunlight, where there will be no where, where it will rain throughout, and you will depend on your battery bank. That's what I'm trying to say. If you multiply 1,000 watts by 72 hours, that is 72,000 watts. When you convert it into kilowatt, that's 72 kilowatt hour. So it means you need a 72 kilowatt hour battery bank to sustain for three days if it's going to rain. And that means you need like three, uh, sorry, you need like four to five units of 15 kilowatt hour battery. The battery is alone. One is about two point something or three point something million era. So the five units of 15 kilowatt battery is already going to like nine million era, which is expensive for most people to afford. So most people, once they, uh, uh, once they, you know, use 10 million era to install solar energy system, they want to apply load that is up to like 3000 watts. The size of battery they got from with the 10 million era, it's just like maybe 20 kilowatt hour battery. And you're already consuming 3,000 watts out of this 10 kilowatt, out of this uh, 20,000 watts which you have. If you divide 20,000 watts by 3,000 watts, it will tell you the number of hours you have. So solar energy system works based on your design. If your system is designed to work for 24 hours without sunlight, it will work for 24 hours. If your own is designed to work for 36 hours, it will work for 36 hours. And if your own is designed to work for 7 days without sunlight, it will work for 7 days without sunlight. But let's be real to ourselves. If I come here, I'll tell you, say, Moku factor in 7 days of autonomy. And at the end of everything, we arrive at 100 million era for you to achieve this. Go come other money. No go come out down. So most solar energy systems are based on budget. Buy the one where you serve it for 24 hours. If you want to go for one week days of autonomy, where you spend millions, like 50 million and 60 million era above, you can go for that. But if you use it 10 million era to install your own, sorry, you cannot have 48 hours of light if there is no sunlight. It's as simple as that. If you want to have 48 hours light with your 10 million era, whenever it's raining or the environment is cloudy, reduce the amount of appliances which you use 
normally now only ritual is go on AC when environment is cloudy and only 10 kilowatt hour battery in get you know, we'll get power for night if you want to go if you want to install solar energy system you have the money calculate like seven days of autonomy and thank me later